Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna help you get started with DJI Virtual Flight and Liftoff. That's right, you've got the Android phone or um, this thing right here, whatever you wanna call it, and it's just not working, right? You have Virtual Flight on there and you got your DJI RC2 or RC3 and still the same thing. So come, without any further ado, let's get started. Um, it's a totally different experience inside of this thing. It's a little bit of a bummer because, you know, when you buy your $1,500 drone, whatever package you get, $1,200, whatever it costs, um, you know, like, hey, I want to learn to fly. Not everyone knows about liftoff. I didn't know about liftoff. I was using the uh, DJI simulator trying to connect the Avada 1 to it and have an experience of my lifetime after seeing all those videos on YouTube. No, not happening. Um, so, yeah. On that note, um, DJI Virtual Flight, which is right here, it'll load up. Um, the Android phone was good for its time, but if, if I do a system with an update, it might take forever. Uh, all right, so then we have this here. I'll just mute this music, since that's playing in the background, as you can see. It does take a little bit of time to load. Um, as you can see, ah, there we go ready to go. Uh, in this particular case, there's no need to select the goggles or anything like that. Uh, so we'll just click confirm and then confirm. It says connect USB cable to, okay, that's fine. We'll click confirm. Come on, oh, there we go. I'm gonna choose, try the Avada, right? The Avada one, since that's the closest thing we want. I see there's a delay when you touch it. Uh, and just go virtual flight, enter. And track one, of course, ready to go. And we'll put this down because you can't, if there's no, you're not gonna be using the accelerometer if there was one in there. I doubt that that will work. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, let me, I wonder if I can zoom in on this. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, it's hard to see, but I'll have to bring the chair in. Okay, so it says put the joysticks. See, it responds to the joysticks. And there we go. It's a little bit tricky. See, it says push both controller sticks inner or outer, corner to the inner or outer corners, and then it's supposed to start the motors. See, there we go. See, it says push throttle up to ascend, but it's not working. You're killing me, DJI. Let's try unplugging it. Sometimes that happens with lift off. There we go. Whoa! See. You're like, oh my God, look at me, I'm flying. So there's a delay. And let's see if I can fly. Oh, follow the green lines, which I can't do. Right, the checkpoints like you would in liftoff. And I'm like flying. I've seen some guys fly in this. Um, but for some reason, I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna follow that little checkpoint. Where is it? And that's in normal mode, believe it or not. See the N? I can't even get that thing in normal mode. Look at that. Okay, if I go down, let's try manual. Sport, manual. Now manual. Hmm. A little bit of a bummer. Look at that. Now I don't even know where it is. My joysticks are moving, but my drone is is gone. It's not responding. So it's not. It's not me, it's you. It's not you, it's me, if you're the app. Um, as you can see. Oh look, it's responding, there we go. See, mayday, mayday. Look at that. All right, let's see, I crashed. And then you're thinking to yourself, like, wow, I just bought this drone, it's not working, I wanna learn to fly. Good luck with that. If you have, you know, an, an Android phone like me. Um, let's see, there we go. Okay, let's put it back into normal mode, all right. Yeah, it's not even worth the headache. Um, I'm just gonna quit it. Press stop right there. And as you can see, it, it, it just is. And you're thinking like, my God, I'm never gonna learn. And some people have actually, um, I, I spoke to one of the guys at the store, have told me that people have returned their drones because they um, couldn't fly in the simulator. I'm like, wow, I could see that happening in both versions of the simulator. Um, one would be this simulator and one could, could also be in liftoff. I could see it happening in liftoff if it's your first time. That's why in liftoff, as you can see right there, 
uh, I'm in M mode. Let me just turn up the sound, right? I'm in M mode, but you can change that, right? By pressing the A key and go into normal mode. So let's say I'm in N now, right? Put the stall stick down. You just won't be able to do any flips, but it will simulate an experience similar to that. See if I go right, it won't let me flip, won't turn. There's no like 180 degree angle. And you know, you could practice on that because that will get you up in the air. You go back, right? And then you just go back into your checkpoint. And then when you're ready, you know, practice in end mode, right? And then you just can't dive up the building. And then you go around, see? And then you can just fly. Like watch, I'll reboot and start, do the truth, see if I can do it in end mode. See, watch, see? Everything happens in real time. What is the only downside is that when you go down, it goes down a little bit slower. That's all. You know, it doesn't feel like you're moving, which is fine. See that angle? And then I have to sort of like, but you'll get the hang of it. And this will get you out, you know, in the air, uh, wherever it is you're, you're going to, to practice. Um, and it will, again, like I said, simulate the experience to that of your drone, you know, just keep it in its position. See, one keeps the camera angle and then we crash. And now let's try the same thing in um, manual mode and you'll, you'll see a difference. So it, it sort of simulates what would happen in the real world, um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you'll see like, if you look to your left, um, you can always scrub through it. The trees just appeared from nowhere. Uh, they just automatically populate, which, hold on, this part's a little bit tricky. Stage one complete. So this part's a little tricky, but um, you're not clear until you're out of the park. I wish there was a Death Star version of this. Can you imagine that? Um, that would be cool. Can we get a little music, please? Yeah, kind of neat. Uh... Whoops, I missed it. That's okay. Some crazy stunt. So as you can see, it's, um, Whoa, missed it again. Where did it go? It's right there. Uh, hold on, let me just focus on this. See, usually for that one, what you wanna do is go around. So basically you go up and then around, but um, yeah, so as you can see, it's a little bit tricky um, on the Android device. For that one, what you do is you go, well, we're in the forbidden zone, you go around and down, just follow the drones. Um, and then that's it. But as you can see, let me see if I can do a dive off the building. Let's see, we'll go back. Not before we get to the building, we'll go right about here. And then go right about there. Slowly, slowly. And then right there. Somewhat, a little bit. Whoa, <laughs> it can't. Not the, let me try that again. Let's see if I can do a dive. All right, throttle stick down. And this is where you want to practice with your dives. Go a little bit slower and then down. Woohoo! Whoa, and then up again. <laughs> kind of neat, huh? I, but I've seen some guys who could like do the dive and then go backwards like that and then flip, go through like a loop, the loop inside of a hole. Um, so yeah, as you can see, might as well just reboot it and stop the game. Kind of neat, huh? So you'll have two different experiences depending on your phone. 
Um, so don't be discouraged too by what you've seen here because it does, as you saw in the beginning, I was flying like you um, and uh, eventually you'll get there. Um, but just know that it can be discouraging if you have your first experience like this could be your last because some people actually return it because they can't fly in it. And it's not because you can't fly, it's because either the app can't handle it, or in this particular case, this app is no longer supported by DJI, unfortunately. But who knows, maybe down the line, there'll be another one. But as you know, you can do it from your machine on your computer, as long as it's powerful enough to handle and download everything needed, and you plug it in. And just remember, if you have a hub, right, um, the experience could be glitchy, or if it is, just plug it directly into the computer and everything will be as good as new. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you in better understanding on how you can get virtual flight up and running or not. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>